I sit beside you, dying. I'm sorry. Slowly whisper, and then dying left from there and go in his room to sleep. Dying poof. Isn't she hungry? She didn't even drink water. But why I'm worried about her? Then dying sleep. It's 3.30 at night. You wake up while feeling extremely hungry, but you are also afraid of dying to ask him for food. You were regretting your decision of not eating dinner. You, what shall I do? So you decide to find dying and ask him for food. So you slowly open your room door and start to wandering in house to find where is dying room. Dying both. I opened my eyes because I was not able to sleep. Your thought is all in my head now. I am going towards your room to see if she is alright because it's first time that I have a little girl in my house. Author, everyone your age is 18. But when I was going to your room, I see a fragile figure going down the stairs. So I followed her. Yes, she was you. But why? She is here. You. Where is Mr. Room? Your poof. When someone tap on my shoulder. You. Time poof. You were going to fall, but I grab her by her waist. Time. It's me. It's me. You. You scared me. You slowly push me and stand straight, staring me with her puppy eyes. Dying, what are you doing here? You, actually, I'm hungry. You say that in a very low voice while seeing on the floor. Dying, I didn't hear you say it again. You, I'm hungry. Dying, oh, so you are hungry now? You. I'm sorry for not eating dinner. Please give me food. I'm hungry. Dying, come with me. You see him happily and follow him. Then Dying open the fridge to see if there are anything to eat. But as Dying say you to come with him, you also start to come closer to the fridge. Because of you, Dying didn't able to see anything. Dying, what are you doing? You stared at him, dying. Go and sit there. He pointed his finger on the chair. You, okay. After a while, dying put a fried egg in the front of you, dying. I don't know what you eat and I can only make this in a short time. You, thank you. You start to eat that egg fastly, dying. Slow down, you will get chopped. After that, you both go in your room to sleep. Next day, author, you wake up by Tang voice which was coming from downstairs. You, why the mister is shouting? So you go downstairs to see what's happening. You are poof. When I come downstairs, I see mister is beating a man. I got scared, but I want to stop him. Man, sir, I I'm sorry. Tang, today I will surely kill you. Tang take out his gun from his pocket and going to shoot the man who was begging for his life. You, Mr. Stop. You run toward Tang and hold his hand to stop him. You, you can't shoot him. Tang, go from here. You know. You, hey, go from here. You say to that man, Tang, who are you? Tell him, huh? You, please stop. You are angry. You said him while staring in his eyes. Author, Tang didn't realize this, but you was actually making him calm. Tang, shit. Then Tang left from there and go in his room. You, are you okay? Man, thank you so much, ma'am. Then the man get up and left from there. Author, now you are going in Tang's room to see him. To be continued.